This video is about the AD9851 chip from analog devices. You see that chip and now with the looking glass, the magnifying glass, I spent approximately four hours to solder it on the board because, because it is a SMD chip, surface mounted device. Anyway, the properties from this chip are unique in my opinion because it, it uh, can generate a sine wave between 1 Hz and 30 MHz. And that's quite good. It all comes from analog devices and I'm sure you can order this chip on the internet. Um, the good thing from this chip that it has a 1 Hz precision. So you can set frequencies between 0, um, 0 Hz and uh, 30 MHz with 1 Hz precision. That means that you have a very, very exact VFO for a shortwave radio. Here you see the uh, block schematic from a shortwave radio. First high frequency stage mixer, IF amp, often 455 kHz, but in more sophisticated um, radios the IF frequency is much higher, say 10 MHz or even 20 MHz, but that doesn't matter. And when I have time I will uh, give more links in this video to uh, other videos all regarding this issue how to make a good shortwave radio. Detector audio amplifier. So the VFO is essential. It generates a frequency uh, that is in this simple um, case 455 kilohertz higher or lower than you receive on the antenna. And um, the, the, the good thing from this chip is that you can drive it by a computer and by software and of course here I've drawn a keyboard. The software is on the internet. Um, I'm not very um, acquainted with this kind of software but for people interested in shortwave radio and software I'm sure you can find on the internet good software to drive this chip. Uh, I still have to do experiments with this chip. So it takes a lot of time to find the right software. But as far as I know, for instance, uh, Rocky or, or other um, programs can drive this AD9851 chip. And then you have the ideal situation where you send into the VFO an exact frequency, exact on 1 Hz. That's a very good thing from this chip. And that means that you can receive here in your shortwave radio the very exact frequency that's available on the antenna. Of course 455 kHz or other IF frequency uh, has to be subtracted from that frequency. But anyway, when you know the principles, and I want to give more links to the principles in, in uh, this video when I have time, um, you can receive radio stations on 1 Hz precise. That is of course not necessary because every radio station has a certain bandwidth that can be uh, 1 kHz or for normal broadcasting radio stations approximately uh, 7 kHz or 10 kHz. But anyway, um, this is the so a very good option to make a very precise 
precise shortwave radio that you can drive by software on the screen from your computer. You can set a certain frequency, send it into the chip, send it into the VFO and in the mixer and here at the end uh, through the loudspeaker whether there is a radio station available on that frequency. So for everyone interested in this chip and in making a radio with the help of a computer, this is in my opinion uh, an ideal option to receive radio stations between 0 and 30 MHz. Of course for the lower bands you still have here a conventional coil, but from approximately 2 up to 30 MHz, the calls here in this stage, the high frequency stage, don't have to, to be too big. So, anyway, a useful chip for radio amateurs and everyone interested in the radio.